I'm Shelby Collin and with today's health news. It's true, your genetic inheritance affects the aging process, and now there's new information on exactly how it happens. A new study from the University of Georgia found that the hormone levels that affect aging are determined by genetics. Levels of a hormone called growth differentiation factor 11, or GDF11, gradually decrease over time. In mice that were given GDF11, scientists found that signs of heart disease, muscle and brain aging could be reversed. The the research team used 22 mice strains for their research. The mice were bred to have many different kinds of genes. The researchers found that GDF11 levels gradually decrease over time. By middle age, most of the depletion has already occurred. In addition, the study team found that mice with the highest GDF11 levels tended to live the longest. The team plans to find out why GDF levels drop later in life and whether they can be prevented from dropping. And there are other treatments that are ongoing right now. You've heard about young blood experiments going on in Silicon Valley where you transfuse the blood of a young person to an old person. What Levin has done is recognize not just the whole blood that is important, there's a particular molecule called GDF11 uh, that seems to be the molecule that's most responsible for this rejuvenative effect. And so Levin is actually commercializing that particular molecule. Other companies like Unity Biosciences is working on finding those senescent cells in your body. In 10 and to 12 years from now, for every year that you live, science is extending your life for more than a year. These treatments are gonna be coming online to help you extend your life, but bottom line, eat right, sleep right, get exercise, that's not going away. 1950년대 미국의 코넬 대학교에서는 젊은 쥐와 나이 든 쥐를 이용한 실험을 했는데요. 파라바이오시스라고 불리는 시술 기법을 이용해서 젊은 쥐와 나이 든 쥐를 아예 결합하여 피를 공유하도록 했습니다. 놀랍게도 나이 든 쥐의 연골 손상이 회복되는 등 다시 젊어지는 현상이 목격됩니다. 또 2005년도에 네이처에 발표된 토마스 랜도의 연구 결과에서는 젊은 쥐와 나이 든 쥐의 혈액을 바꾸었는데 젊은 쥐는 줄기 세포와 근육의 생성이 뒤떨어지는 노화가 시작되었고 나이 든 쥐는 간이 젊어지고 심장이 강해지는 등 다시 젊어지는 현상이 관찰되었죠. 이외에도 이를 뒷받침하는 많은 논문들이 등장했으며 과학자들은 분명 젊은 피에 노화를 막아주는 특정한 성분이 있다고 생각했습니다. 2013년도에 셀지에 발표된 하버드대학교의 연구진은 젊은 피의 비밀이 GDF-11이라는 단백질에 있다고 말합니다. GDF-11은 우리의 근육을 재생성시키는 등 젊음을 유지하는 효과가 있고 나이가 들면서 감소하기에 결국 젊은 피의 비밀은 GDF-11이라는 단백질일 것이다 라고 주장하는 것이죠. 그러... Uh, heterozygous and homozygous knock-in animals uh, within the lymphoid subsets uh, of the peripheral immune system. Relevant. Um, because if you look at data in humans um, published by Nathan Levasseur's group, normalization of atypical and swollen mitochondria, um, restoring regenerative potential within the skeletal muscle of pretreated animals, um, as well as increasing neurogenesis over this one month uh, follow-up, um, only uh, a little over 10% of the, of the rats uh, treated with recombinant GDF11 uh, showed this analysis.